This is GCC Physics, this is Energy Lesson 6, and this one is Kinetic Energy on Steroids. So we're going to appreciate the conversion of one form of energy to another, and then solve the ridiculous, impossible extension questions. So if you're ready, I'm assuming that you already know the Kinetic Energy Equation, and that you did it last lesson. It's going to require some thought, this one. So let's have a look at the questions. So here's the first one, if you want to have a pause... And then try and figure this one out. And then I'll take through the answer. A child of mass 40.8 kilograms climbs a wall of height 4 metres and then steps off. Calculate the speed at which the child reaches the bottom of the wall. So we've got a couple of things happening here. We've actually got a, a conversion from one type of energy to another. Now when you climb a wall or when you're raised up, you will gain gravitational potential energy. Okay, then when you step off, the gravitational potential energy is going to convert into kinetic energy. So what we need to do first of all is calculate the the GPE. So GPE, if you've watched my previous video, will be MGH, mass times gravitational field strength times height. So let's do that first of all. So the mass is 40.8 kilograms times G on Earth, which is 9.8, times the height of 4 meters. So that gives us... 1599 joules of energy. Now what's going to happen is that gravitational potential energy, the loss of gravitational potential energy is going to be equal to the gain in kinetic energy. Okay. So kinetic energy is a half mv squared. We've got the energy, the 1599. We've got the mass. We need to rearrange to find the speed. So to rearrange to find the speed, we need to get rid of the half, which is two times the kinetic energy, divided by the mass. If you're struggling with this one, you might want to watch my previous video. And then speed with square root to get V. So two times the kinetic energy. So we've got two times 1599 divided by the mass, which is 40.8. Then we need to square root to find the speed. And the speed is... 8.9 meters per second. If you got that, really well done. Let's see if you can handle the next one. Final question. So this is the super extension question for junior students only. So a stuntman of unknown mass climbs a cliff of 50 meters and then dives into the sea. Calculate the speed at which the stuntman hits the sea. That's it. Okay, and then I'll take you through the answers. So we know this stuntman's climbed a height of 50 metres. We don't know his mass, so he's climbed 50, 50 metres. And then he jumps off, or dives off, because obviously he's a maniac. The only thing that we know is the, is the energies that are involved. So we gain gravitational potential energy, and then that GPE will convert into kinetic energy. So, we can write it like this. The loss of GPE is equal to the gain in kinetic energy. So the loss of GPE, the equation, is mass times gravitational field strength times height equals the gain in kinetic energy, which is a half mv squared. And if you look at this, you can see that the masses would cancel. And then we can rearrange to find the speed V. So we've got GH equals a half speed squared. So to get speed on its own, make it the subject, we need to times uh, we need to do the opposite of halving, which is times in by two. So we get two GH equals speed squared. And then finally the speed squared is going to be equal to the square root of two times G times the height. So not speed squared, the speed. Get rid of that. So let's put some numbers in. So we need the square root of 2 times 9.8 times 4. And that's it. Put that in your calculator. Not 4. 4 is the last question. 50. And that gives us 31.3 metres per second. Which is ill-advised, by the way. I would not advise to do this. Unless you're a stuntman. Then you can do what you want. 
31.3 meters per second in real life, it'd probably be a little bit less due to air resistance. Obviously, this is a model. But if you got anywhere near getting this right, then then well done. And if you got it right, then you know, absolutely fantastic. You know, you should be a grade nine student all the way. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll, I'll speak to you soon.